Fenway Health is a community within a community that's open to anyone and everyone. Fenway Health is a place where my community is the priority, is at the, the center of the mission. And that's very comforting to know that you can go to a place and um, it's there specifically for you. We're going to see you no matter if you have a dime or if you have a million dollars. We're going to see you no matter what race you come from. We're going to see you no matter what your sexuality is. And it's going to be without any judgment because we're all inclusive, we're all accepting. All of our research points to the existence of an extraordinary number of health disparities, health concerns and conditions for people who are LGBT that heterosexual people just don't face. The point of Fenway is to address these disparities, eliminate these disparities, and work to make sure that everyone has uh, the health and well-being that all people deserve. The Life Schools Project is a really exciting project. Um, it's a study of young transgender women to test whether um, this program would be effective at um, preventing HIV. At the Institute, we launched a research project to really better understand and document the specific needs of LGBT older adults. What we want to make sure happens is that nobody is isolated. Um, we've always had a women's health department here, but now that we've had the advent of a women's health dedicated floor, um, it's really expanded. We've gotten a director of women's health, we've hired numerous women's health providers. We've been allowed to expand our services much more to incorporate women in the community, women at the local colleges, um, expand our AI program. So it's just really been expanding, I think, faster than we expected it to. Well, Fenway Health is, is I'd say foremost, it's probably one of the best health centers for people who are transgender in, in the country. And it was really, um, I think, a critical step in my transition to be able to meet a transgender health navigator and find out where to go. Our protocol for care at Fenway um, is based on um, what some people might call an informed consent model. It's really a, a minimally invasive process that we don't demand that people spend a lot of time in therapy if they, it's not needed just to access the care that they need. We don't, we don't expect people to, to um, have their lives completely in order before they're able to express who they are. This is our history. These are the people whose lives have been touched by Fenway in some way or another. And it's important for us to recognize and remember the names of the people who are up here. When it got really difficult in the late 80s, early 90s, Fenway was always there to, to guide, to hold our hands. Um, to bring us you know, to the hospital, uh, to consult through medications, bad periods, and good periods. I, I feel like I owe Fenway quite a bit because I have half a dozen friends that were cared for through the system um, all through the late 80s and early 90s. What I particularly enjoy is getting to know people over time so that when people's decisions become more complex, either just because of aging or because of some acute medical change, I have a sense of where that fits in their context as a person over their life. I don't just know them as a sick person with their diseases. Fenway Health is about opportunity. They go that extra step, and it's important to have that in my life. People can come here and not have that worry. They don't have to worry about being treated differently or poorly. I think Fenway Health matters because it's a beacon in a really harsh world. This is for all of us, collectively, as our dear Lord would say the collective voices of who we are. Fenway Health to me is community, it's family, it's safety, it's acceptance, allowing you to be who you are in a safe, happy environment.